Hello everyone, I'm Social Democrat Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here once again in Fear Reich playing as a good old USA last time. We started building the American industry up by quite a bit. We have 178 factories. By the end of this episode, I want at least 200 factories. We might be there, we might not be there, but I do notice that uh, I want more civilian factories too at the same time. Cool. Uh, here's one thing though that I kind of didn't expect. But uh, if we look at Italy, or the Repubblica, or La Repubblica Social Italiana, look at this man's clothing and his hat. He looks awesome. That hat, look, you know, it's not bad. But the fur that he's got on, oh my god, that looks awesome. Oh, but he's going to piss off the Greeks. Uh oh. But that's cool anyways. I mean, god dang. Someone get me some coat like that. Ooh, baby. Let's see, he's got the Italian Libya as his puppet. Oh. Oh, Italian Libya is an actual country, an independent country. And then they're allied with the Bulgarians. The What type of world do we live in where the libertarians, it looks like the left libertarians, are allied to Volkists? I guess it could be weirder, I suppose. That's really odd, though. Good amount of manpower. Of course, last time the Greeks took out the Ottoman Empire and then made him their puppet. Oh, they have a pact of Rome, the continental system. Oh, the Intermarium is here as well, with Hungary and Romania. Now that's a weird alliance. Ukrainian National Republic is here. Of course, we have the Third Internationale. Ukraine, what are you up to? You are Social Democrats under Andri. Modern Air Tactics, can't really do much. Don't have your own focus tree yet. That's okay. I wonder Belarus. Was Belarus here earlier? Maybe not. Maybe I played too much Kaiserreich. I don't know. What is the Trotskinator doing? Ooh. Punjab. Oh. Uh-oh. Foreign raids. Ooh. Lacking industrialization. Pun oh my goodness. Punjab took out the provisional government of India. Last time India went kaboom. Oh. You got a little larger too, uh, Afghanistan. Alright. Well, whatever. Not my beef. All I got some beef is with some Mexicans and some Central Americans. Whatever. But we got some strategic support. I love bonuses. Next up, we can do the 49th state. I mean, this side's okay. I really don't want to go to war with the Philippines at the moment. Or really, Panama. I really don't care. Central American incursion. I'm definitely going to get into them. But let's go ahead and do air wing exercises for 35 days. Very good. We're building up a massive army. We have a couple divisions. We have how many? 54 infantry divisions. Now, that does include coast guards. About 18 of them. And you guys are... What are you... Oh, you were the volunteers I sent out earlier to help other nations. We'll say, who's at war right now, actually? Oh, the British Zulu War and the Chinese... Oh, yeah, we sent volunteers for airspace up here last time to help blow up the Manchurians. And I can also send some planes over here, too. I need more planes. Hmm. Definitely gonna need more bombers. We're gonna need a lot more of pretty much everything. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more guns, too. Make sure we keep an eye on how much factories we're producing. I need more, 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 more. Next up, it looks like the Union of South Africa is doing pretty well against the Boers down there. It's 1938, of course. Let's go and grab some more artillery. That'd be nice. Oh, and they're also trying to fight the UK at the same time. Uh, just for lols. Wow, I just said lols out loud. I'm sorry. Uh, they're led by national populace, Manny Martis. Oh, they volunteers from, of course, the Dutch state. Union of South Africa, led by Mr. Sunglasses himself, Lord Hyde. And, of course, the UK is led by King Edward VIII. Now, I really wish the stall pack wasn't disassembled. Oh, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. The commune doesn't seem like it's doing very well, though, now. They have no manpower, of course, against Denmark, who still has a little bit. They're ha they have a weary military. They're an Entente Council member. Uh, can I send you stuff? I don't mind sending you, like, planes. Yeah. I, why, why can't America can just send all sorts of, like, military members over to kill off anyone else? Wait, India's back? Wait. Rajasthan? The People's Front? Um. Provisional India? I mean, you're here. Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm blind. Oh, he came back. Air wing exercises. Very nice. New patrol models. That's good. I love the description. Love it, love it, love it. We got a little bit more political power. A little more political power. I need more tactical bombers. I need a lot more tactical bombers. We're making an okay-ish amount of fighters. Not really great at all. But 
I want more of that air XP. Look at that. Point. Goes up by point ten ish a day. Depending on point ten, point two a day. Not very much. But I'll take it. And there goes India once again. Is that is that are they finally dead? Like are they like actually dead this time? Maybe, maybe not. Let's get some encryption next. Uh Rajasthan looking pretty good. Baluchistan. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I think these guys are definitely going to win against New Manchuria. I doubt they can really hold out that much. Oh, okay. Italy, the man with the awesome coat, has gone to war with Serbia. We got radio detection. Go ahead and do some more radio stuff. That'd be great. Uh, take a quick look at stuff here. Do only one. Cruiser holes. Do only one more as well, because I do want to upgrade you so that you actually have radar. Sonars are great and all. Oh, wait. I, that's all I can do. Oh, well. Whatever. What else do we have here? Oh, motorized. Oh my goodness, we're gonna need to make some motorized. That'll be important. Naval bombers will be important as well. More factories. Just more, 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 more factories. We have 187. We've already made 10 since we started this episode. And Italy's doing a really good job against Serbia. They do have to contend against Bulgaria, of course. And then, well, Italy took out Albania. Greece still has a demilitarized zone. Interesting. They have only so much manpower, not a ton of, not a ton of divisions. Italy actually has quite a bit more, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. They're going to ally Hungary. Ooh, that'd be cool. They could steal Hungary away from the Intermarium faction against ooh, Italian settlements. Ooh. Ooh, annex Italian Libya. Colonial fervor. Oh my goodness, colonialism in this campaign? That sounds like a lot of fun. Holy cow, just for World Goals Times goes, on, goes down by 25%. Italy demands we become a protectorate. Oh my goodness. Why have I not played as Italy yet in this campaign? Or Fear Reich? That looks like so much fun. Go ahead and get us another set of refineries. And then just more military factories. Just pile them on. Maryland. I don't know how much space you had in Maryland, but factories it is. Close air support missions. A bonus for close air support models, which is kind of useless to us since I'm not releasing them. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. Here we long, you are the man with the ability to resurrect the American industry. And like every episode so far, I'm going to continue to deny my own self investments. Now, I do want to see what the French Republic is going to do. I mean, Germany can be a threat to them, but they are going to probably have to kill off Germany eventually at some point, or at least kill off the Italians. Integrate colonial division. Ooh. The Moss 40. The Curie Institute. Interesting. Oh, wait, what was that? Gain one research slot. That's very nice. Industry Fallen Empire. Remember the Somme. Industrial Unification. African Expedition. Set up the GFPA. If you ever have to evacuate the mainland. Interesting. Uh, expansive welfare distribution. Mm, I can wait on that. Just so much production is going on. I love it. Yes, use America's resources. Yes, 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 yes. Build up the fighters. Actually, you know what? Do the bombers before you do the fighters. Keep building up those. Building up everything, really. I can send a hundred of you guys. Uh, this is probably not really worth sending fighters to you guys, but, you know, see what happens. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not good. Do we have any extra spare planes? I've got some more close air. I can use close air support. Naval bombers. You know, good enough, I suppose. I mean, I'm not going to really ever use them. Really? I could use you in Manchuria. The range is okay. Oh, actually, I could use you down here. Oh, yeah, do the Chinese. That'd be okay with me. That'd be fun. Use up all those planes. It doesn't matter. Just give me that air XP so that we can research stuff faster when we need to close air support missions. Great. Combat unit destruction. I love the, these descriptions so much. You get fighter detection goes up by, by, by plus 5%. More air support mission efficiency and air superiority just by a flat 10%. Very nice. We need more guns. We need more support equipment. Artillery is doing well. And I will make my divisions more and more inspired by artillery. Or flush with artillery, I guess I should say. Recon companies. I can't afford that right now. In time, though. In time. Our army is looking pretty good. Look at that. Very nice. 50 divisions on the border with Mexico. Very good. Now, once that army is done, I'm going to make another set of army against the Canadians. Because I don't exactly trust the Brits. They can be trustworthy at times, but it's 1939, so I'm going to get more construction. Yeah, I don't trust the Brits whatsoever. I'm not sure what they're doing, actually. 
They didn't do God Save the King, the military junta yet. A democratic victory. They went austerity measures. They went with ending intervention. Liberate the markets. All right. Irish Home Rule, the Statute of Westminster. Now, where's their focus for them to go to war with me? Oh, oh, Imperial Burdens. Huh. Destroy the Collectivists. They went with the Empire Stands Alone. Defense of the Mediterranean, Far Eastern Flank. Invictus. All right. Hmm. Dismember Germany. <laughs> the Grand Fleet. Yeah, when can they come kill me? Ending austerity, of course. Constructing an imperial parliament. It depends on what they do, I suppose. Reorganize dominion parliaments. An empire of unity. Our path and destiny. Hmm. hmm whatever. Doesn't really matter. Fighters. Eh, fighters are okay. Military staff decides. I like more attack. But that's supply consumption. And more defense. Just nice. Nice stuff. Uh, battle pit support. I can't do that. Oh, wait. I need technology. Technology, air superiority. Oh. Huh. Chief of staff. Divisions. I love that artillery so much. That'll help our infantry quite a bit. And, uh, I can't do it because I... I don't have the technology superior firepower. Oh, I'm limited. Oh, that hurts me so much. That hurts me so much. Oh, well. I don't like being this limited. Oh, well. Yeah, they're throwing out a lot of divisions up north here, which is fine with me. I don't really care. I will have to guard Panama probably at least a little bit. We're, we haven't been exercising ships at all. What is your name? Who are you? Bai Songguo. What the heck? Ooh, reorganize air staffing? Sure. Double bonus for air doctrine. I love it. Oh, is this... Is the war over? You gave up? Oh, they have a peace with... Oh, they gave up. You're a puppet of Japan now. And you actually got a lot more territory. Oh, that's not good for you. You lost all your divisions. You only have a few factories. You guys have more factories. The Jade and Jewel of China. And Nippon is just kind of... Well, they're kind of there. Alright, well... What happened to my planes then? I mean, there's carrier planes. Um, oops. Fighter groups, two, three. Oh, some of you are in Hawaii as well. Let's send you all to, like, North Carolina or something. Oh, the Russian Republic. Hello there. Hello. Nationals call for war. Well, it's 1939, so we must be on our guard, absolutely. You know what? I'm a little afraid of what happens with Canada gets involved, so start making an army up here. Because we have enough divisions that I'm sure we will be able to hold. Probably in most areas. So. And they're probably pretty well dug in. Oh, dockyards. So we're making a carrier, we're making some cruiser hull. Um, can I upgrade this yet? No. That's disappointing. What about subs? Could help tie down enemy ships. They're not great. They're really not great, but I'll use them anyways. Come to Florida. Yes. Florida. How are my subs doing? Oh, radar. Good. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. You know what? Just just combine everybody. There you go. Makes it so much easier. So much nicer. Net 39. Let's grab some more radar, because that'll come in handy. Actually. There you go. That's exactly what I wanted. You're almost done. And go to LA. Nice. Keep making those factories, boys. You're doing a great job. And you're still reinforcing? Up oh, your... Alright, there you go. 72. Split you in half. There you go. You guys split you in half. There you go. You know what? I'm going to continue to split you guys in half as well. Nine at a time for positioning purposes. Awesome. There you go. That's a pretty good fleet. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Come to LA just because we're probably going to put a bunch of our subs there. Oh, ships. 
Ah, I got another carrier. Very nice. Good job, guys. Keep building. Keep... Oh, got another army. This is for Canada. As long as you got 10 stacks, or 10, 10 armies of 24, you know, infantry divisions, we'll be okay. Uh, another general. William Simpson. Led by... Eisenhower, good enough for me. Good enough. Alright, Italy, you've done a great job against these guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Did Hungary actually... J they joined the Pact of Rome. Very nice. Very nice. Turkey might be sweating bullets now, because that's a big enemy they got to kill off, if they can. And the Intermarium lost an ally. There's only three countries in there right now. Oh, actually, I was doing plain stuff. Oh, there goes Indian People's Front. Orissa, oh, actually, they lost? Wow. That's kind of crazy. You guys help out down here. Did I send volunteers to anyone else yet? I'm not really sure. Alright, very nice. Uh, we could throw in a couple more generals for now. Throw on... Russell Hartle. And then... You look pretty good. Floyd Fredendal. Awesome. Nice, we're doing with our air stuff. Deal with Panama, we'll do that in time. 49th state, sure. The Alaskan push for statehood has been much more lively than any other. It's a viable strategic asset and one that deserves the same inclusion as any other state in the country. Well, depending on who you talk to. Good. 49th state, good. Another division. Throw you right on there. I'm going to sign you a new general with Jonathan Wainwright. And give me one more division, and then we'll make you do the same thing we did in the south. Ooh. Chief of Army. Uh, I just love defense. I, I mean, I like defense. I don't love it, but I love supply consumption. Less supply consumption so much. Can I have one more division, please? I would love one more division. Ooh, I can actually edit this a little bit more, since we do have motorized now. And we do want to make tanks. Oh, I need... Wait. That costs 35? Holy cow. Ooh, good job, guys. Keep producing. Make me even more refineries. We need to become rubberly independent. I just said rubberly. I know. Radar. Actually, that comes in handy. Radar is really, really helpful. Build it down there. Oh, Guantanamo. Yeah, please. Build it in Texas. That part of Texas, I guess. Build it down. Oh, Baja, California would be important. Florida. Up here in the north in Maine. And build one in Washington. Maybe build one there in Minnesota, because why not? Hawaii needs one. Or two, I guess, really. Uh, all these islands. Oh, there goes Japan. I love radar. They don't cost that much to build. Yeah, it takes time for them to build once. But once you get far enough in the game, you know, it doesn't take... It really doesn't seem like it takes that much resources. Anything over here? Philippines. Anything else? Do I have any other holdings around here? Oh, yep. These guys down south are in war. That'll be important. Knowledge is power, guys. Knowledge is power. Uh, civilian factories, Kentucky, Let's do West Virginia, and then maybe Iowa. Awesome. Actually, can I help anybody with their stuff? Oh, they're getting invaded. Qingdao is falling. Can I send you volunteers? I might send you actually infantry this time. Probably shouldn't do these guys, but that's okay. Throw you right there. Awesome. This can give us a lot of army XP. Nice. State of Iran declared war in the era of the Mashriki Kingdom. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck. How many planes can I send over to the Beijing government? Alright, so these guys are heading on over. I can send a total of 150. Denied investments. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. They're coming to the Beijing. Fighters, fighters. Fighters are probably going to be the most important thing to send. You guys, I can... just. I'll keep you there for now. Lower you by one. That'll be good. Oh, another division. Great. Throw you right there to put you right there. Now. Awesome. Awesome. And put you with Oscar Griswold. I thought you were leading an army. Well, uh, I'm going to have to double check that. Under Jeffrey Keys, that's fine with me. Now, we're going to make sure we got enough divisions... Or Canada. 
Great. Because down here we should be okay. We, maybe. Uh oh, the San Diego incident. This is unacceptable. Demand the government step down immediately. We lose a lot of manpower and political power. We get hit. Oh, this is not ideal. Naval bombers, war fighters. If that's a case. Hmm. See what happens. Shisa! That was fast. I was not expecting that. I'm trying to send divisions elsewhere, man. That was, uh, at least to me, a little bit unexpected. Do that. You guys come down here. Do that. Send both of you. Send everyone down here. Just guard Texas. Everything, everywhere else should be okay. Oh. Did we reactivate some divisions? Alright, well. Throw you to the American theater. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. These are volunteers I sent to... S oh, no, no, no. It's a little glitch in the game. Uh, let's make sure we have our Navy out, at least. We're here to blow them up. Good. Subs, do the same thing, but you can do convoy rating over here. Yeah, they're, my divisions are glitched. I think I can't even use them. Like, I can't even get them onto any general. Uh, the only thing I can do is delete them. I hate that. I really hate that. But they're not fighting me. I. Why are you not attacking me? Oh, I have a thing over there. Recall? Yeah, I'll call them the Republic of Haiti. Why not? They have more divisions than me, but mm, whatever. Okay, Japan. Okay, you declared one of the Russian Republic. Did they piss you off or something? They might have. Can I win if I attack here? I don't have air support. I probably won't be able to win. Yeah. Nothing's going on. Mark Clark, you might be able to win if I give a little bit more of a boost. If I can already win, that'd be great. Oh, Mexican convoys are going bye-bye. I mean, I have the fuel for it, so... What do we need? We need guns. We need a lot of guns. Do that. Oh, the 49th state. Great. Keep building stuff up. Oh, and they started attacking me in Texas. Yeah, I'd like to defend my Canadian border. But, uh, this is a little bit more mandatory right now. But hey, we're going to get more army XP. That's kind of nice. Uh, very nice. Deal with Panama. We'll do that later. Future of aviation for rocketry? Sure. Only 35 days. Not bad. We might lose a tile here or there, you know. Never perfect. Oh, you're the spare stuff. Your sub. Mobile infantry, very nice. Very good. And then we'll do some mass motorization for infantry organization. Nice. Keep blowing up them ships. We've lost 43 guys versus their 7. Holy cow, thousand. Um, you know what? Sure. We have protection around here. That's okay. Uh, if you guys can't win, they just threw in some more divisions. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Alexander Patch, you look like a good guy. Awesome. Oh, no. So, a controversial tale by the French writer André Malraux, set on a future timeline, has recently reached the shelves of France, depicting a scenario of a new world order after a second great war. The story is a dystopian tale set in 1962, featuring an American man surviving in the divided Midwest in a world locked in a nuclear stalemate. In this timeline, the German Reich goes to war and with and successfully defeats the Entente takes control of Western Europe and the Eastern Front. As chaos divides the Russians, the Soviet Union falls very, very, very quickly, causing the Stahl Pact to dominate all over the European continent. Well, the Stahl Pact doesn't exist anymore. Meanwhile, in the New World, a disunited and ill United States falls to the revanchist Mexican state. The federal government collapses and splinter states rise in North America. Then, as the rising Mexico begins to establish its sphere influence in the New World. It comes into conflict with the British Empire in the Caribbean, leading to a joint war with Germany against the British. The war slows down in a gr into a grinding naval stalemate until Germany creates the ultimate weapon powered by the atom itself. After the Mexican bomb, Jamaica and Barbuda with this nuclear weapon, the British family, British finally accept to negotiate a peace, granting Mexico, or granting Germany serve all its colonial positions overseas and giving Mexico control of the Caribbean. Holy cow. As the New World Order is established, German-Mexican relationships break as well as the Stahl Pact collapses as Germany oversteps its boundaries, causing the widespread resentment up until economic crisis caused it to isolate itself. The British then begin ignoring the peace treaty terms and challenging the Reich's influence in the world. Thus, by 1962, the world is locked into a nuclear stalemate between the German Reich, the Greater Mexican State, and the British Empire, all looking to be the dominant 
world power. The novel ends with the beginning of a new nuclear crisis as the Mexicans set up a missile base in their allied territory near the Great Lakes, threatening Canada, causing the worldwide panic as the British prepare to deal with this aggression. While many criticize the book for its huge gaps in plausibility and exaggerated proposals of future technology, the gripping political tensions and that wraps every part of the story has led to a great success amongst all the Entente. When is pseudoscience fiction so popular? That's a lot. Now, how much artillery do we have? We have about 1.2 thousand. It's not bad. But I'm going to have to really severely wrap up my artillery production right now. Like an extreme... Oh my gosh, yeah, 3,400? Yeah, no. We're going to need to wrap it up like an extreme amount. Um, 1939, get some more output. That'll help. Deploy units. Do they need help being deployed? I think they're pretty good already, right? Yeah, there you go. 202 factories. I told you we hit over 200 by the end of this video. Oh, we're getting attacked in Panama. I forgot about that. Tibet declared war in Sichuan. Oh, that's right. How many guns do we have? Oh, we got, we got a many surplus. I need to make you guys a little bit bigger. There you go. So you can survive wherever you are at. Uh, support equipment. We're doing okay. Give them recon. No, they don't really need recon companies. That helps with the defense, though. We got, we're America. We got enough manpower. It doesn't matter. We, if we lose the Panama Canal, so be it. They are taking over river. The division isn't great, but we're going to get more reinforcements in here anyways. Joseph still will. Hope you do well. Defend the American frontier. Defend, defend, defend. Yeah, we're going to have a massive deficit of artillery. Holy cow. Maybe I should have waited for that. We got plenty of guns. Yeah, build you at the top. Like, I'm going to need so much of that. It's not even funny. I need more military factories. More, 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 more. Just pile them on me. And planes. For now, we're doing pretty well around here. Pretty darn well. Let's grab... Naval bombers? Well, I'm okay with naval bombers for now. Ships. You're actually doing okay as well. Wow, we only have a deficit of 2100 now. That was better than before. Oh, Lawton. You're doing okay. You're kind of getting whacked a little hard. Come down here. We've lost about 5,000 versus their 49,000. That's pretty good. Help defend. Keep defending. They have a lot of divisions around here. They have five still. That's okay. That's okay. We're doing... What are the subs doing? Alright. Well, if you can't get there, then just come to, like, LA or something. Like, it's going to take you a while, but I'd rather have you here than not have you here. Still getting attacked here. Do that for now. That'll help you with your defense. Construction. Oh, there it goes. Workers Republic of Bolivia. Declare war in the Republic of Paraguay. Got construction three. Let's get some more cap. Get a higher cap at least. Artillery's coming online. Very nice. Good. Keep putting more soldiers in here. They're attacking us over the line like crazy. You know, Volcus, Mexico. You got a lot of guys. You got quite a few divisions, but. You do you. You do you. Mm, let's do strength in numbers. Why not? Looks good. Sounds good to me. There it goes. Wow, that took a while for Serbia actually to fall. That's actually not bad. You know what? I kind of don't like this. And I don't like messing around with the borders, but it just doesn't look good to me. Yes, I should have messed with the borders. Yes, yes, I know. Mark. That's a... Look, that looks better. Now, I could give them this, too, but mm, that's not the core territory. I gave this because it's like they have a claim on it. Oh, it's core territory, so that looks pretty nice. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, we might lose a little part of Texas. That's not ideal. Uh, deploy. I need you helping out the line right now. They have a ton of divisions down here. Tons and tons and tons of Mexican divisions. Hold on for your dear lives, boys. Do I have any other spare planes? Naval bombers? Interwar bombers? I mean, it's not much. Do that. Art oh my gosh. I deployed that and that ruined the amount of artillery I had. Oof. Good. Get down there. Get down there. How many men have we lost so far? 11,000 versus 108,000. Oh, Mexico, why did you do that? 
You know, I'm actually glad you did. That makes us go to war faster. What's your war support like, actually? That's ah, pretty good. I got a lot of stability. But I'm going to produce a ton. An absolute ton of factories now. Come on, keep building, building, building. I'm out of political power. I want to go to war economy, but I can't. Alright, well, just keep blowing up whatever you find around here. Convoys are nice. Kill off. Very good, very good. Yeah, we're, we were winning down here. We're not exactly winning. Yeah, our strength isn't great right now. Do we have any planes? You know what? I really don't want to do this, but I don't, I don't mind deploying some fighters. So that'll help us keep this area under control, maybe? Wait, we, what do we not have? Oh, closer support. I guess I lost a plane. Doesn't matter. Go ahead, keep blowing up their ships. Strength in numbers, very nice. Commission extra destroyers, that's okay. We could do that, but that's okay as well. Uh, I guess we'll do this, why not? It's only 35 days, very good. We get about one political power a day. One, a single one. Goodness, when is this stuff going to get done researching? My goodness, who's leading this army? Collins? That's good, we got Collins there. Oh, and South American nations have signed a white piece. Good, keep blowing them up, keep blowing them up. Put you on medium. We're gonna need more of you. Uh, for you guys, you're motorized, you're fine. Armor divisions, switch you to mobile. Uh, I don't want to put on light tanks on those bad boys, but I will throw in some recon, some artillery, and some engineers already when we get there. Very good. Cavalry divisions, yes, better radar, good. Throw on artillery, because I don't know why you don't have them yet. You know what? We can make you really huge cavalry. That sounds like fun. I'll make you 40 combat with for now, but I might just convert you with artillery soon as well. Almost, we have, we almost have enough to make them 40 combat with. Ooh, rocketry. Oh, that's way too, that's way too far ahead of time. Um, rubber. Let's get some more rubber. We probably, eh, we don't really need it too much, but that's okay. You guys doing a great job blowing up a lot of ships. I love it. Are the subs over here yet? Yes, they are. Good. Convoy raid. They love, they really, really want Texas back. Holy cow. You got this, Texas. West Texas. Yeah, give me that radar right now in West. In, yeah, West Texas. That's West. Uh, oh, good. Convoys are, we're attacking them all around the area. Awesome. Good, destroy those convoys. Japan really doesn't like China. Really don't. We're probably going to lose Panama. That's really not good. Eh, but you never know. Losses so far. We've lost 25,000 versus a quarter million. Pretty good. Sinking a lot of the convoys, and I'm glad I started building up a lot of divisions here. We really used them well. If that's a case. We really can't push into them. I need to research tanks next. I really need tanks and more planes, which means more building. More and more building. I keep denying my own investments. All right. Battlecruiser research. Nice. Sounds good to me. Oh, we're getting attacked here. But I need more fighters. I need just... I need more factories so badly. I don't want my ships to get destroyed either. They're on... Eh, at least some of these guys are doing okay, though. Oh, we're actually winning. Nice. Oh, don't let them do anything there. I need an army down here. How is the military doing up here? What do we need? Just more infantry equipment and artillery. Support equipment is doing okay. I like what we're doing with support equipment for now. I don't want to ruin my divisions right now by adding on recon companies to my infantry. That probably wouldn't be very good. MacArthur. Oh, Courtney Hodges, do you have something for us? Yes, you're an infantry expert. Good. You're at level four. Nice. Douglas MacArthur, what are you learning? In? He's becoming an infantry leader. He's a trickster. He's a commando mountaineer. Awesome. If I were to continue building up these areas with more divisions, they might not attack me more. So... Come up here. That would be great. But unfortunately, that is all the time for that we have today, my friends. Mexico has decided to get very angry with us and 
wants to kill us. And you know what? Let them try. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we might try to push into Mexico because they deserve it. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.